Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Today, we are reacting to some music. Today, choice of music is going to be a throwback, you know, for some of y'all who haven't listened to this band before. Um, it's called Three Day Grace. They're called Three Day Grace. Um, this song, specifically, is called Never Too Late. You probably already heard of it. If you haven't, you're probably living under a rock. Not going to lie. Uh, but I want to do these reactions now. Uh, we're like... I'm reacting to like throwback music. I'm sorry, my phone is on. It's on silent. I'm sorry. I might get fired from YouTube just for just for, from that happening. But um, that's not, like I want to react to throwback music. You know, uh, a lot now because I don't know. It's throwback. You know, I'm I I love listening to throwback music. Like the old songs I used to listen to when I was a kid. And you know, I'm not a '90s kid, but I know most of the '90s uh, songs. You know, because of my sister, my brother, and all them. You know, the old people. You know, I get it from the old people. Let me stop. Them. Um, before I get bashed on, but this is a good song. I'm just gonna react to it because when I like, I never really like listened to the lyrics, so I want to listen to the lyrics. What's the actual meaning of this song? Um, and then you know what's going on in the video. I never really paid attention to the video. I always had it up, but I never watched it. So let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. Boom boom boom. boom. I'm not sure if I'm correct, but I'm not. I'm 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 bad at you know, like analyzing some lyrics sometimes, or a lot, a lot of time I'm bad at analyzing, as you guys can tell. Uh, but it's a, this is probably about like either him or he's telling a story of somebody trying to protect his daughter. I believe I'm. I'm that's what I got so far. I might be wrong. I'm maybe 100 percent wrong. Don't get mad at me. They say the world the one. Is he yelling at his daughter? Hold on. This is getting interesting. I don't lie. It's like, kind of like a movie, I guess, you know? But it's getting interesting. I'm not going to lie. She's hiding under the bed. The kid's hiding under the bed. I just saw that. Who is that guy? Is that the, I think that's the mom. Or is she going through like, you know, like a PTSD, I guess, or I'm not sure how it is. So she kind of like, like, I'm not sure if she went back in time. I'm not sure if I'm analyzing this right, like I said again, like a like hundred times. But it's like she kind of went back in time and like, and like changed that. You know, situation. Let's see. I don't know. This world will never oh, there's be drugs right there. What I, I think. And if I don't oh, what the heck is that? That's not good.
what's happening. I'm like confused, kind of. Actually, completely confused. I'm gonna lie. Yeah, okay, so now I'm gonna look up the actual meaning uh, of this song. Um, and it's pretty deep, I believe. I never really thought of the song to be that deep. You know, you just listen to when you're kids. You just listen to like the song. You're, like it sounds good, feels good. It relates to you a lot of the time. So you know, you're not really thinking about these stuff. Like the deeper meaning of these songs. So it's never too late. Meaning, here you go. Uh, let's see, we're gonna read it together. You know what I'm saying? What is the meaning behind the three day? No. Okay, so video analysis. analysis. So, child, I was kind of right then. Bro, I'm a freaking. I think I got it right. So, three day greats has never shielded away from taboo topics. Their breakout hit, I Hate Everything About You. Or my. Oh, okay, here we go. Never too late. Also released in 20, 2006, two, it was released in 2006, okay. Upon first listen, the f song first sounds like an emotional letter to a loved one battling suicidal thoughts and encouraging them to claw their way out of a dark state of mind. A band like Three Day Grace would be a strain, would not be no stranger to this topic. There are hundreds of songs undertaking this subject matter. However, the music video to Never Too Late uh, throws a curveball in, at the expectations in turn, the symbolism and message deserves a deep dive and how it explores. Okay, let me get the deep dive in. Okay, virtually video is one of the most powerful pieces of visual art from the 2000s with the symbolic portrayal of a reality thousands of children face while still bringing a message of hope because people are not defined by their past abuse, but their choice is to survive. The video, the video unravels the story of a young woman suffering from, with PTSD due to child sexual abuse and um, that just it pisses me off when that happens because it happens a lot and it shouldn't. Um, and this goes for both male and female, but I think it's most common in female, which deeply sucks. Um, and to get into it a little bit more, I don't like these rappers who are famous for being like these criminals, you know, like, I don't know. I don't want to say any names, but I don't know. I, I don't want to stir any pot yet. But a lot of these rappers that you listen to, these top hits, the trending people right now, they're, they've they been in jail. They got out of jail somehow. Some, probably money. I don't know. But I don't like it, man. Oh, my goodness. Sorry for the burp. But child abuse is nothing to, to be messed with, you know? Anything, anything with child in it. You shouldn't be touching any child in any type of way. Also, the women, the females, I I respect them so much because we had to take care of them. Um, and they could all, not, not to say that they could take care of themselves. They, they can. Uh, 100% they can. But I feel like as men, we should, they're queens, you know? They're, we, sh we should be protecting them. We should be uh, giving them all that we can because they're queens. Like, they're like women. They're a beautiful art piece that God's created. And we have to protect that. We have to protect those women that... You know, like that way. You know, we can't just you know call them the b words. I'm so I I can't I can't do that. Maybe I did it in the past, but I changed. I saw the truth behind this world, and it truly sucks. It's messed up. Um, but like I said, that was the main thing that that I was talking about is PTSD. Woman, young woman suffering from PTSD uh, since she like from when she was a child, um, because of sexual uh, violence. Well, potentially potential example of another. But yeah, that's basically the that's basically what I said. Um, and I will go into more of it, but this video will be like a whole hour of video. I don't want to do that for you guys. But that's the gist of the story. I didn't know that. If you didn't know that, then I, I didn't know that. So if you didn't know that now, now we know the story, you know. Oh, we know this together uh, on live, you know. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button below uh, to watch more reactions from me. And I react to music uh, almost daily. I try to do it daily. I know I miss some days. I miss a lot of the days. I miss some weeks, maybe months. Um, never a year. I never, I never missed a whole year, but I want to do this grind again because I gotta, I got to, I just got to, you know what I'm saying? But check out Three Day Grace if you haven't, if you haven't, then you're probably living on the rock. I'm not gonna lie. Um, don't, you won't regret these, these songs. And I'm gonna react to more of these songs, more of these, uh, Three Day Grace songs, also more of the, um, uh, throwback songs, you know, and deep dive into the lyrics for what the song is it's actually really about. Um, it's crazy, uh, what these songs are actually really about. But thank you guys for watching. Like I said, subscribe. Uh, trying to get to 200 subscribers by the end of the year. Uh, and yeah, like everything. You know, comment down below uh, your thoughts. And I'm out. Peace.